Stone, what was that film study like after Arizona State for you guys when you got in there with uh, with Coleman and kind of watched back that ball game? Yeah, that one hurt. Um, you know, that wasn't our best game. It wasn't sharp. Uh, execution wasn't there. Tackling wasn't there. Um, you know, the first half was, was pretty bad. Uh, but we were able to bounce back. Second half, I think we played it a lot better. Uh, we were able to tackle better. We were able to execute better. Um, and we just got to carry that over to the next week. We gave ourselves, ourselves a chance at the end. Um, and we should have been able to finish, but, you know, we didn't. So, you know, we got to learn from it and move on. Isaac Smith's off to a really good start. I mean, you're out here every day with him. What, what's kind of enabled him to, ha to be such a good player so far this year? Yeah, he's a super smart guy. Isaac's, you know, always studying. He has a notebook he carries around with that's full of notes, super organized. He has good handwriting, so that helps. <laughs> but, um, you know, that dude brings a lot of juice, and he's he's a great tackler. He has, he's long, lean. Um, you know, he shimmies really well, so. He's able to wrap up and get low on people, and that's that's what's given him success. In your room, Brandon Jennings has been another guy who seems like he's always around the ball, had a sack on Saturday night. Uh, what have you seen out of him so far in the way he reports himself? We call him Hammerhead. That dude's crazy. Uh, he's a hard hitter. He's a funny dude. I love DJ. He's going to play hard, and that's how he's always around the ball. He's just always running the ball, being physical, beating people up. That's, that's DJ. So. Still playing with them. What have you seen from Toledo's offense? Overall? They're fast. They have a lot of fast guys. I think their running back is, you know, one of the faster backs in the country. I guess with the he ran a nine four one hundred. So he's a he's a fast dude. The quarterback's a big guy. Tight end's a big guy. Uh, so they have some good skill players, and you know their O line can move. So it'll be fun. After a tough loss, how important is it to get back home around your fans and kind of set things right? Yeah, we need we need a. Be back in our. It's good to be back in our, you know, home field advantage and have that, and then be able to go out there and play a sharp game. We're working super hard to clean up, you know, the mistakes that we had last week and, you know, fix them, and go out and play super, super hard. After that game, you know, those teams would look at it and say, "Well, look what Arizona State did running the ball, even though they had a pretty special back and they were designed yeah. for that." But it's going to be, let's try to run the ball on State. So how do you ever go about countering that the game to come? Uh, we just got to execute better. I think we got to we got to stay in our gaps. And then once we stay in our gaps, we'll finish tackles. It'll be a lot cleaner.